home. Surveillance images captured the moments an officer was shot at last night in Salem. Sparks lighting up the street there as the officer made her escape. The suspect took off, forcing an hours long search and then a SWAT standoff at a nearby apartment complex. And only on 12 tonight, Fox 12's Brenna Kelly sat down with the suspect's father. The suspect's father was emotional tonight, telling us he hasn't had regular contact with his son for the last 20 years, but this isn't how he raised him. And tonight we've learned his son, the man accused of shooting a Salem police officer, had a long list of prior drug convictions and run-ins with the police. In this surveillance video taken by two neighbors on 5th Street Northeast, you can see the moment a Salem police officer pulls over a minivan. Nearly a minute goes by before the officer approaches the driver and the passenger door of the van opens. And for the next minute, the officer and driver talk with each other before something changes and suddenly shots are fired. The officer is hit by gunfire. Meanwhile, the passenger in the van gets out and is left behind as the driver speeds away. It's unfortunate. It's sad. It's hard on the community. It's not common in our area. It's it's it shouldn't be common in any area. The officer was rushed to the hospital as an intense search got underway for the shooter. Hours later and less than a mile away. The SWAT team surrounded an apartment complex on Broadway Street Northeast. Officers breached the door of an apartment unit where the suspect was hiding and negotiated with them for nearly an hour before he peacefully surrendered. Investigators say he's 38 year old Jaime Jimenez. He's now facing several charges, including attempted aggravated murder. His father, who didn't want to go on camera, says this isn't how he raised his son. What he did is not right, but I'm the I'm different person. The father of Jimenez says they haven't been in regular contact for 20 years, but when he has seen his son, he's tried to help him get on a better path. Every time when I see him, I told him, OK, you should be good and stay away from trouble. He, I told him that he'd be good all the time and he's not, you know, listen to me. Police say another person in the apartment, 35 year old Amanda Cayetano, was also arrested for hindering prosecution. One of her family members tells me she and Jimenez were in a relationship and involved with drugs. Her arrest didn't come as a surprise to that family member. And round in front of Highland Elementary School, which had to close today as police continued their investigation. There's still a lot to learn in this case, but we do know the officer who was shot has not been identified, but she is a veteran with the department. Reporting in Salem tonight, Brenna Kelly, Fox 12 Oregon.